What is up guys, Radikai, you come a brand new video, and today I really want to talk about Cyberpunk 2077. By the way guys, I'm a big fan of Cyberpunk 2077 and CD Projekt Rex works. In my opinion, they're one of the best developers right there, like really, really support the gaming community and gaming as a whole. They're not doing bullshit and really monetizing everybody, no, they don't do that. So right now, if you like the video, make sure you subscribe to the video, make sure you give the thumbs up on that video, and make sure you comment or you know, give me some hate. <laughs> I really, I really like making, uh, seeing your comments. But right now, let's get about Cybertron 7 and what does that mean for many people about this game? First of all, this game has been in development for far too long. Like really, 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 really. I, I, I it was supposed to come in April, but they did it. They needed more time, so they they ran to September. Um, right now, Cyberpunk 2077 is being rated. Uh, right now, it's been rated in, in Brazil and in Australia for 18 and for a lot of things. Um, being for sexuality, nudity, crime, deaths, and even some torture, in my opinion. I've seen, I've seen the Brazil uh, rating, and it's really weird coming from Cyberpunk because it's not nothing new. We have seen all those things from regarding the other theme uh, world from Cyberpunk 2077. In my opinion, if Cyberpunk 2077 can break the barrier for adult theme games, we can see a game changer. Why I'm saying we can see a game changer? Remember the A for adult gaming? Like, I remember that shit and in my opinion when I was little, I didn't even know what that was about. But if really... Cyberpunk 2077 can break that barrier or all the game in general. It will be big news. It will make a boom. Why? Because we have seen games for the Gate of Tony expansion from the Grand Theft Auto 4, Tiara and the Auto 5, and everything like that being very, very minuscule on the top of adult themed games. In my opinion, GTA San Andreas is one of the best adult theme games in my opinion. Rated M for Mature, um, <laughs> I really don't recommend you buy that for your kid. Uh, <laughs> really, that was real weird. But uh, Mature games have changed, they have been taking risk because in my opinion risks are worth it sometimes. One of those risks being Modern Warfare 2019 regarding the attack on civilians and shit like that, that remember that one of the journalists didn't like killing a person like a armless person and anything like that, that was a risk and Activision and Infinity War took it and really really demonstrated and launched a very good game like Modern Warfare has been real good on the top of the multiplayer with Warzone and everything like that but the multi but the single player was one of the key elements in my opinion that people were looking for because many journalists were talking about this this and that and this and that but it really was good it really took a risk and it was a risk that it was worth it so games taking risk a good risk not a bad risk it's worth it okay not risk about monetizing the entire game like battlefront 2 or being a uh, a really bad game like battlefield 5 but Cyberpunk 2077 can approach this RPG type of talent and be good, really. Just look on um, Days Gone. Many people were talking about, oh, we're killing kids, we're killing kids. No, we're killing freakers, you dumb fuck. Those are freakers. I remember one of the articles regarding Cyberpunk 2077 about, uh, let's say, a person with a male part, you know, being transsexual. I'm not going to say, I don't want to depend on that, really. And many people were thinking the big thing, that's a risk. That's a risk, really, that's a risk. And you can offer more nudity, more type of, of really dark places on Cyberpunk 2077. I'm in, really, I love this dark theme type of matureness. Like really, let's like, say, mature anime, mature movies, mature type of TV series, that death on the darkness of the worlds. It's really, really things that can be looking for, and in my opinion, it's not being banned in Australia because I'm on on an M18 rating. That's real good news, really. And they have promised that it will feature a lot of nudity and a lot of dark stuff regarding Cyberpunk 2077. So don't go, don't get your bad stuff about uh, Cyberpunk. Don't go and expect some fucking things like that sex, but. 
take it that the game will be very mature. The game will not be for kids, God's sake. Don't go buying this game for your kids. It, this is not a baby game, okay? Because I have seen people buying mature games for little kids, okay? <laughs> but guys, if you like the video, I really want to make this video because I like Cyberpunk 2077 and I like what it stands for and I really can't wait for the game to be launched, in my opinion. So guys, if you like the video, make sure you subscribe to the video. Make sure you really hit that like button. And make sure you comment below about Cyberpunk Swine stuff, what you like about Cyberpunk 2077. This, was, this, is, this video was kind of me. I really want to make this video. So I'll see you next time the next Raiden Guy show. Peace out.